Step number four is to install Oblo. Okay, so Oblo is an app that's owned by Shopify that allow us to connect to AliExpress to pull in the product so that we can sell our orders on Shopify, sync it with Oblo and purchase it on AliExpress to send to the customer. So we don't need to touch the product. We don't need to see the product. Okay, we don't need to buy 100 units at five bucks each and spend $500. We have no upfront cost. Oblo allows us to automate the entire process. It's free, it's quick, and it's easy. Okay, and it's pretty much the benchmark. Okay, so that's what we're going to be installing on our store as our starting point. So I'm gonna show you how to install that, and we're gonna import our product onto our Shopify store. All right, lovely. So you just go into apps and you wanna go visit the Shopify app store. I've already opened up the app store. We're gonna type in Overlo here. Okay, and it's a free drop shipping app. We just wanna go add. Okay, it's going to begin to install on your store. All right, install the app. And then it's gonna take you straight to the within the app. Okay, and how it's all pretty much set up for you. They do have instructions. Okay, we don't need that. You do have instructions, connect your Shopify store, we've done that. Once you've done the steps, it'll turn green and you can explore and add your first product. So you can actually click explore products here. Okay, and they have a number of products already. So um, let's put in Blender, um, Blender, all right? So let's see if we can find it using the word Blender. All right, so again, Blendjet have their, the, this is it here, right here. So we can add it straight from here, USB blending. So we can go add to import list. Okay, so once it's in our import list, it, it goes from that and it, and we can go edit import list and then we got it here, okay? So now we're gonna start to optimize the actual listing and it is as simple as this, um, really, really easy. You don't really need to worry about any of the settings across here, it's all by default set up for you. So we're gonna change the title because right now this is what it looks like, but we can change it before we import it fully into our store. So um, blend for life USB blender. Okay, so I'm just gonna call it that. We don't have any collections because we only have one product. So we're not worried about the collections. We're gonna put the type is a blender. Okay, and we're gonna click that. And we're gonna put tags as in blender. All right, I just like to always put those to be specific. We can go description. So this is the default description that it imports. We're gonna delete that. And I'm gonna show you in a moment um, how we can do our description. And we're gonna use Blendjet's description as the basis to make our description for our product. Okay, we got variants. Okay, so the SKU, um, customers won't see that, okay? So that's just the basically to identify the type of product it is. <clears throat> Shipping is default e-packet. Um, you never wanna update the prices when they change. I always recommend leaving this off, okay? And we wanna put the selling price at a fair price that allows for a good profit. So you can see here we've got $8. We need about a $15, $15. So we wanna sell this for about $29.99, all right? And we're gonna put the compare at price when it, because we're gonna be selling it, we wanna put the compare at price at double the asking price, okay? To make it look like a sale. So 59.99, all right? And we've got 212 inventory and we can go import to store. All right, so now it is importing into our store, okay? And we can go edit the product in Shopify. All right, and now we have our title. We don't have a description. We'll get that to that in a moment. We've got our price, compare at price. We can put our cost per item if we want. So if we know it's $6 per unit, we can say it's managed by Oblo. Um, it's gonna track the quantity. We don't wanna continue when selling out because that can cause inventory problems. We've got a real amount of quantity available. Um, we, we're not worried about the weight. We're not worried about the country of origin. Okay, we don't have any variants right now. All right, and we're not worried about the SEO listing option. We do have our blender here, as well as the product type, the vendor being us, and the tags being for blender. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly pause and we're gonna go and have a look at Blendjet now to compare and see what we can try and uh, utilize 
that they're already doing very well on their website. All right, lovely. So now we're on uh, to looking at Blendjet, and you can see this is Blendjet here, and they have really done incredibly well for themselves. 6,000 reviews alone, and those are all legit reviews, as you can see from the fact that this is the actual product here, and you can see their name is actually on the product itself when it loads. Um, and you know you can see these people really like it. It's very good for gym, fitness, workout, so on and so forth. Um, people all around the world will buy this item, and they've got a really nice description. Okay, so you want to look at their description and sort of get some ideas. One thing you generally notice that is you do one paragraph and then an image or a GIF. Okay, and this is just a GIF. All right, and they're doing the same here. This is just a GIF. All right, and basically it just shows it as a repeatable GIF um, that allows to show the product and what it does. Because as a customer scrolls, they can see how it works consistently showing it in their mind um, and building trust with them. And then when they get down here, it has more of this. That's custom made, but this is very, very helpful. Okay, so when you make descriptions, descriptions or copywriting, um, for beginners is a little bit hard. Okay, it's a little bit hard. So um, I usually start with Mimicking what they have so imagine the freedom of being able to go anywhere and blend your favorite smoothies shakes Margaritas or baby food without the limitations of a regular blender. Okay, so I'm going to put introducing introducing the um, blend for life USB blender that is changing the way people blend their food into your into their favorite smoothies, shakes, margaritas, or baby food. Okay, so that's just sort of a starting point to give you a bit of an idea. All right, so. You can see that all I've done there is introducing the Blend for Life USB blender that is changing the way people blend their food into their favorite smoothies. Okay, I'm Australian, so just underline that. Shakes, margaritas, or baby food. Just picture for a moment making your smoothie, making your favorite smoothie, smoothie without all the effort, time, and pain involved, um, especially when you are um, very busy throughout the day and want to drink something healthy right away. Okay, so that's just off the top of my head. But you can sort of get the idea you know, what we're trying to do is we're introducing how amazing our product is and then we're framing the product, like, you know, relating to them, you know, that they're out and about, they're busy, they're mothers, they're uh, going to gym, they're, um, you know, going to their favorite sport, they're doing something in their life. They don't have the time to be around at home just with all this. They, they need to get their fruit, they need to get some milk and they need to be on the fly where they can um, do this and drink it as they go so that they're able to utilize their time as much as possible, okay? And that's what you're trying to aim at there. So I just wanted to give that sort of a bit of an idea. So if you're ever stuck with descriptions, I don't ever recommend copying someone else's images or GIFs, okay? Always recommend making your own, okay? And you can usually find them through AliExpress. So if we go AliExpress, okay? And uh, we'll just go Aliexpress, and we're going to put in portable, uh, portable USB blender. Okay, portable USB blender. As you can see here, you know thousands of these units have sold. We can go by orders, and we're going to see um, we've got this top one here. And we sort by orders because then usually they have the best images, and we can we can use that to our event. So. We could actually import this because we have multiple variants. But we can scroll down and see how we've got this as well. We can we can actually get these images and put them on our website. So you can right click, save them, or use um, the snipping tool or some you know photo editing software, 
and put them on your website, okay? So then we're mimicking what they're doing well, which is already having a nice image and we can get an image that is copyright free and legal, all right, that we can add there as well. So like that's a beautiful image that we can add there as well. Again, with strawberries, bananas, oranges, so on and so forth. Obviously, I don't recommend having, you know, um, Chinese text overlay because obviously it's just not going to build that trust with most of your customers. But you can add in all of these as well. Okay, they've got a ton of different images that you can try and utilize to build out your description. And if you again, use what they're sort of doing, don't just flat copy it, but use it as the context to help you to design yours, then you can make a really high converting landing page. Because the thing is, if we have a look here, there's a Chrome extension called similar web, you can um, install it, you can just literally go to um, similar web Chrome extension. Okay, and you can install it from here. So you can just click this. And obviously, this is only for Google Chrome, um, and I have it installed already. And you can install it and it'll look like this. If we go back to Blendjet, it tells us analytics about the website about how they're ranking, you can see they're getting 352,000 people to their website every single month, primarily from United States. Okay, primarily from United States and you know, divvied up across across a couple of other countries, but primarily United States. Um, you can see where they're getting it from, you know, people going directly to their website, um, search, social email, Okay, so they're getting a lot of people that are just going to their website and buying this product. And that's when you know you have a very well established and successful business. And they've done extremely well for themselves. And that's why we use it as the context to say, well, they've been very successful, let's do the same. Okay, so that's how you then also list a product. Um, so now we have a product on our store as well, we can we're just going to save this in this case. All right, and what we can do is we can go back to our theme and we can we can uh, view our actual product page now in Day Beautify as well. Okay, so if we go here, all right, and now we can go to the product page. So I do apologize for the earlier mistake. And we can see this is sort of what it looks like currently on our website. All right, and you can see, sorry, we'll go back to mobile view. We can see how well that looks. You know, you can change the colors. You got your add to cart, you got your sticky add to cart there as well. Um, and we've got our text and we will just keep building on that. You can hide your tags. So if we go to the product page, we want to enable zoom, we want to, um, we don't want a big title. I don't usually recommend a big title. I prefer a smaller title. Um, I always go thumbnail. Okay, I just choose thumbnail. I uh, make sure that you show the quantity picker, show button icon. Okay, we don't want to show the product tags, which is what was down there. So that's now disabled. All right. And that's pretty much all you need to do to the page. And it's very well optimized. And you can change these testimonials and that as well. Okay, so you can change these as you see fit, you can add an image and you can change the text. It's to build more trust and look like a really well established business. The other part that I should add as well, is you can change this as well. So we did free shipping over $50. You could change that to be free shipping over $50 as well. Okay, you just find the setting and that you can change that as well. So this is all very customizable to your business. But you can see how well this looks um, for your actual business, I would recommend hiding this bread crumb bread, <laughs> bread crumb, I apologize um, um, for that as well. But you can see that now in just less than half an hour, we've pretty much now gotten a store, we have found a product, we're mimicking something working well, okay, and we're starting to do it ourselves, we all pretty much for free, um, very quick, very easy, and very well optimized to get a lot of sales. So I recommend you spend a bit of time doing this, but it doesn't take that much time um, at all, especially with something like this, where it's going to give you a really good kick start. So let's now move into the next step. Step number five is to install Klaviyo. Okay, so Klaviyo is an email marketing app that allows us to recover abandoned carts. Okay, um, and it's very easy to install, very easy to set up, and it's pretty much the benchmark for email marketing using Shopify. So we're going to set that up now and uh, get that all configured, 
and it's all completely free so you don't have to worry about any costs involved with that app either so let's get that installed now